Hey everyone! So in this video I will be sharing my newest realization, discovery, vision that was inspired by all the feedback I received expressing my thoughts about my new direction and before I start getting into it I just wanted to say I'm super excited about it and I want to get your feedback about this new discovery and uh, I hope you will like it as much as I do but uh, before I get there I quickly wanted to say thank you so much for having faith and having the open-mindedness to check in the new channel and to check what's happening here and to give it a shot. I really appreciate that. So usually when I bump into a problem, I often think that the first step is to define the problem itself. In my opinion, defining the problem is a big part of the solution because when you know what it is, it's much easier to pinpoint what you can do about it. So the issue that I bumped into personally was that while I am alive, I want to make sure that I have as huge of a positive impact on the people around me and the people basically in this world that I can. And I know that the martial arts journey, uh, the recent actually actions and situations allowed me to see that it actually already started doing that. A lot of people are positively touched by the martial arts journey, but the issue for me is that that journey is specifically interesting only to people who are doing martial arts. And as you know, I decided to continue that journey, but I also want to make sure that, again, while I'm alive, that I would touch the people outside of martial arts as well. But the question is how to create that positive influence in their lives without the subject of martial arts. So as you know, I tried some few different videos and it basically didn't work out as well as I thought it will, but that actually was a good example of pressure testing. And the challenge that I came across is the question of how can you positively influence or inspire people without becoming a self-help guru, without becoming the top to bottom where I know the answers and I will tell you the answers and you just listen to me, which I'm actually personally I'm against myself and I definitely want, don't want to be that guy who does that. As I was deeply considering this feedback that I got from people about the self-help guru thing, suddenly the answer dawned on me. What if instead of telling people what to do, the vision and the goal would be to empower people to find the answers themselves? Interestingly enough, the martial arts journey has already done that on the martial arts level. The whole process was about questioning my martial art, questioning my life, and coming to better results. And I feel that that inspired others to do the same with their martial arts. Even if the martial art was different, they had the opportunity to apply the same method on into their own situation and make their own decisions instead of me telling them what to do. Personally, when I started applying the questioning method to my Aikido, the process also started to become evident in everything else that I did, in yoga, in meditation, in the food that I choose, in the training that I choose, in my beliefs, in my values, and, had, and that all had a tremendous effect on my life. That also gave me the ability to take in one of my, what I call, consider to be my superpowers, is the ability to listen into people's feedbacks. So instead of saying, no, you're wrong, question and ask, maybe there's something right about that. And again, that was a huge benefit. So what I'm slowly coming in to say is, what if we would take the same process of the martial arts journey and we would apply it to all aspects of life and we would aim for inspiring people to do the same. What if we could inspire people to pressure test not only their martial arts but also their beliefs, their values, their life decisions, their decisions that they make in relationships, their fears and personal development. That could even grow one more step further into bigger systems such as the educational systems, politics, or various systems outside of martial arts such as yoga, fitness, or any other field. Now granted, there are people who I know that already are doing that. Well, first of all, Matt Thornton is very capable of doing that in martial arts. And sometimes he does talk about that aspect of questioning outside of martial arts. One of the community members of SBG, a now famous person, Peter Bergosian, who I had the pleasure to meet, he's a university professor who is educating people on the ability to to question and to pressure test your ideas outside of martial arts. And part of my realization and inspiration comes from taking the inspiration from their work. Yet why shouldn't we continue and grow upon their work? Why not encourage the process of questioning even more? Just because someone else is doing it on a certain level doesn't mean that we shouldn't do it. Every person reaches their own unique audience and through the process of YouTube and the experience and abilities that I learned of being a YouTuber, there is a chance to reach even more people and inspire them to consider the method of questioning and pressure testing in their lives. 
So now the next natural question is obviously how to best do that, of how to inspire people to try out the question method and the pressure testing method in various aspects of their life. And the first thing I want to say about that, it's again, coming back to pressure testing. What I mentioned in the previous video where I responded to people's feedback, it's a process of trial and error. You can't just come up with the best idea possible without trying, failing, and learning from it. This discovery is already born from listening into feedback, trying, failing, and discovering something brand new. The Martial Arts Journey channel as well, it didn't start out from where it is right now. I tried many different things until I found what really matters and what's the best approach to reach people with my journey. So it will take effort, it will take attempts, trying, experimenting, and finding the best way, and it will take time, but it's important to start doing, to start trying. And usually I find the best way is to start by the things which are already accessible to you and the ideas that you already have and to see how they work and bounce from them. So the first few ideas that I personally have is obviously first of all to share my own journey on this question, to share my stories and to share my experience of how questioning has helped me. But obviously not everyone is interested to just listen to me speaking, so, so we have to look at expanded ways. And another feedback I got from people is that usually people are inspired by examples, by action. And I think that's a correct thought. And one of the ideas I have on the action level is obviously not only to document my journeys and how I applied questioning in various aspects of my life, but also to directly pressure test various ideas and methods. And that's a limitless pool of uh, possibilities. So for example, pressure testing various forms of fitness, of meditation, of yoga, pressure testing ideas and beliefs, pressure testing my personal fears, pressure testing various diets. It's an endless, limitless pool. And I feel that showing direct directly how those are pressure tested and what results you can get from them, those could be not only interesting videos to watch, uh, but also great examples to show how it's done and how it can benefit your life. And the last idea uh, that I have is also to include other people and various people's stories of how questioning various aspects of their life has impacted their own evolution. Personally, I would be very interested and inspired to hear stories of how, the, of how various people applied questioning successfully into the educa education system, maybe even into politics, although I'm not big on politics, <laughs> just to let you know. Or maybe how somebody questioned their program of fitness or, or questioned their business ideas question their decisions and what changes did that make. So again, until we will try that out in practice and until I will publish those videos, it's difficult to say whether it's going to have the desired effect. But again, that's what the journey is about. It's about trying, failing, and learning. I'm starting to sound like a broken record, I guess. <laughs> but I think it's an essential process to go through. And personally, I think we're onto something big here. And while it may take time until uh, this new journey will start working, at the same time, I have a deep feeling that this direction could potentially have a big positive impact on more than just the world of martial arts. So as I said before, I'm really excited to include you in this process and do this together. So if you have any feedback or ideas about what I'm saying, help me pressure test this. Let me know if you see some inherent problems in this direction. Let me know what doubts you have or suggestions. I'm very interested to listen into it and to reflect about it. And the very last thing before I go, what I wanted to definitely mention is, trust me, I'm also questioning my outfit and by no means I am willing to drop this idea, but I did start seeing some mistakes that I made uh, in donning this outfit and I'm already coming to some conclusions how to make some changes about it so it wouldn't make such a big controversy and it would make more sense why I'm wearing it. But I'll let you know about that more later in the future. So one more time, thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope it's going to be interesting to you and I hope you're excited as I am. So if everything goes according to plan, you'll soon enough start to see the first examples of what I introduced right now. And until that happens, I will see you in the next journey.